Let's get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, and my neighbor Phil, welcome back to the Attic Room YouTube channel. Hopefully this will be the last video I have to make with crappy lighting. Today I have a special box right here. It's a big one. It's 40 inches by 16 inches by 9 inches. And it should contain my new lighting. I had to go cheap, but I got the best bang for my buck that I could on my limited budget. Let's see what we've got here. Stand up. Oh, come on. Pull this box out, it is loaded full as you can see. Pull the box out of the picture and get her unloaded. First off, muslin backdrop screen. This should be a 5 by 10 foot muslin backdrop in black. I have a second one, same size, in green, if I ever decide to do some green screen video. And the third one is a muslin backdrop screen, 5x10 I believe, in white. Uh, I'm not going to unpackage these right now, but they're a 5x10 sheet with uh, a pre-stitched rod pocket. So, there we have it. Up next, packing list, you don't need to see. We have umbrella reflector. This is a black with a silver, come on, silver reflector. That should help a lot with my lighting over the course of my future videos. I also have two white reflectors. Same type of thing. Yeah, might as well just inspect it. Umbrella number two. And this works just like any other umbrella that you've ever owned. Which is open, locks open. Except these won't stop the rain. is an unmarked box that should, yes, be a stand for the lights and or reflectors, or yeah, the reflector lights. Opens up, the lights do not telescope, but it does lock, friction lock. And there's your telescoping segments, and they're adjusted and locked with uh, thumb screws. Well, yeah. I'll have to get a measurement later. But there's one, two, and three. All the same. Get them out just to make sure. Yep. Two. And number three. Now, just for reference, I've been dealing with some really crappy lighting for a while. Uh, see if I can pan this around, I'll show you. There's my reflector and shop light. And where is it? find it. 
yeah there's my overhead light it's almost as old as I am so hopefully this will help my videos look a little better spring clamp pull out whatever else is on here now. these should be the bulbs I'll have to do a second segment after I get it set up Forty five forty five watt lights. Out here. Nicely packaged. CFLs. Excellent. And there are two of them. Could be light fixtures. There's one fixture, has an on-off switch, it's adjustable, it attaches to the tripods, uh, up and down. Yeah, okay. And those go in with the umbrella reflectors. Should have two of those. Double check that. Yes, two light fixtures. Throw these back in the boxes. Kind of like Christmas. Oh, I guess I got three of them. Three bulbs. Yep, there's a third bulb. And a third fitting, yes. Three bulbs, three light fixtures. Fantastic. And I got spring clamps to hold the muslin in place. And last but not least, this box should be the stand for the backdrop. This is from an earlier video, one of my Bud K unboxings from a mystery bag. It's actually been pretty useful. Yes. This is the backdrop. Comes in a nice carrying bag. Two more stands to attach four piece crossbar that extends out as from five to ten feet, I believe it is. They're black powder coated aluminum. And they just Screen here. They just, you know, anyway. Snap together. So, yep, two stands, four crossbars. That's it. Well, we're back. Uh, here's the whole setup uh, mounted and testing it. I did test the lights. They all work. Uh, each one of the backdrops is five feet wide and ten feet long, so you have plenty of room to 
run it down and onto the floor if you need to uh, or you can do it wide and clip it up using the the spring clips but there you have it I turn it on but uh, or turn the lights on but all it's going to do is just wash out the video but I just want to show you show it to you assembled uh, considering it's low buck it's going to more than do the job for me for now I spent a total of forty dollars with shipping for all of this through a seller on eBay I believe it was uh, they shipped it out pretty quickly I ordered it on uh, I think it was Monday or Tuesday Monday and I got it today so my cat seems to like it at least one of them does anyway uh, considering the the price what I paid for yeah I think I got my money's worth out of it we'll find out how it holds up over time the only concern I have is the crossbar on the backdrop is a little bit on the flimsy side with the weight that's on there which is just the three pieces of muslin and the spring clamps that are on there it does have a considerable bow but since I'm not going to be hanging anything off of it besides the backdrops, it should work out just fine. So there you have it. Uh, you can find these on eBay. I don't remember the seller, and I wouldn't mention his name anyway because he's not paying me to promote his product. But there you have it. I got two white umbrella reflectors. I got a black back silver reflector three muslin black backdrops one black one green screen and one white I got three light stands I got six spring clips two uprights and a cross beam for the backdrop and a couple of clips to uh, stretch the uh, the backdrop so it takes the wrinkles out there you have it 40 bucks it's worth the money I'll put it to good use, drive my wife nuts having more crap sitting around the house for me to do videos with, but there it is. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please press like down there, wherever that is. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share it with your friends. I'm going to be doing more low buck unboxing videos and anything else I can think of. If you can think of something you'd like to see me unbox, as long as it's on a limited budget, under 100 bucks, preferably under 50 bucks, put it down in the comments. I'll see what I can do. Well, thank you for sharing this with me. Y'all have a great day.